Hello again everyone, this is Darren here from Knudsen and today's video will be discussing the installation of the Knudsen Sounder Suite software package. So this is going to install all the software onto your host PC that's going to be needed to control and communicate with your Knudsen Echo Sounder. So as you can see I've gone ahead and I've installed my USB drive and it's come up with this folder. Now this number of the folder is very important because this is the actual serial number of your Sounder Suite software package. So in future if you happen to be calling in and talking to customer support you may be asked for that number just so we can verify what version of software and firmware that you actually have running at that time. So let's go ahead and we'll double click on the folder and you will see that there is a Sounder Suite setup.exe. So let's go ahead and run that now. At this point we come up with our setup wizard. So this will tell you the version of the Sounder Suite USB software that it's going to install onto your computer. The next step actually shows you the default folder. So we default to programs x86 soundersuite.usb. If you do wish to change it to a different folder, you have the option to browse and select that folder. As you can see here, there's a very small amount of data is going to be stored on your hard drive. It's only 7.5 megs once the whole thing is installed. So we'll go ahead and click next. At this point it's given you the option of installing both the client and the server or the individual applications. So for the first time out we're going to need both of these applications so we'll leave it at the default and we'll go ahead and install both the client and the server side software. This comes up and just tells you what the shortcut is going to be called on your Windows folder so soundersuite.usb and at this point it comes up and yes we want to create the desktop icons. So this just gives you a brief report of everything that you have said yes to, so it's telling you where it's going to be installed, what you're going to install. So we'll go ahead if you're happy with this. If you want to change any of this, you can go back. If you're happy with it, go ahead and hit install. So after the wizard has gone ahead and gone through, we can click finish. Well, you'll see now if you actually minimize your Windows Explorer, you'll see that you now have four icons on your desktop. Echo Control Client, Echo Control Server, Post Survey, and a PDF copy of the software user manual. Now in addition to these applications you have here, if you actually go to your Windows Explorer and look in the folder that it was programmed for, the program files x86, you will find a soundersuite.usb folder. In there, there's a few other applications, firmware loader and conversion utility. These ones will be explained in some later videos. So now that we've got everything installed from our software point of view, there's one other thing we want to check before we go ahead and start launching our applications. And that's we want to make sure that all of our drivers installed properly. So at this point, you can have your Newt's and Echo Sounder connected to your laptop and have it powered on. If you actually go to your device manager, what you will see now is an icon called Echo Sounder and listed under that, in this particular case I have a dual frequency Echo Sounder connected, so I see two modules stated as KEL Sounder module. If you get to this step and it says unknown device or it may say single channel module, that may mean that your driver may need to be updated. So at that point you can right click on the module and click update driver. In this case I have both coming up as KEL sounder module so that means that our communication with our echo sounder is good, everything's happy and we're ready to move on to the next step which will be launching the client and the server applications and that will be discussed in a future video. Thanks for now.